going around this time. Oh, that's heavy. Whoa. Who we got? Oh, hey there, Michigan Control. Well, uh, we've talked about the fish trade study, the fish waste trade study, and the cool robot idea. I am letting that trickle in my mind for a bit to see if I really want to do it or not. Uh, but in the meantime, for HAB1 as a prototype, we need to get the fish waste out of there. Uh, we've had some fish die in this lane in particular, so today I'm going to focus on it and see if I can't figure out how to use a pond vacuum. So this would be a, a normal pond vacuum that you would get uh, if you have like a koi pond or what have you. Uh, this one I bought off of Amazon. Get my knife here. I shouldn't put it back in there with the pliers open. Uh, bought it off of Amazon. It's about $200. Uh, there are many more that are much more expensive. This one looks like it'll do the basics though. So we want to get in there and get that fish waste. We want to get it up into the beds here where the red wigglers can get to it and eat it all up. There we go. Lots of oh, cute little thing. So I am in the shade right now. Boy, oh boy, does it make a big difference being in the shade compared to uh, just being in that direct radiant heat. Man, oh man. There they all are. Okay. Well, the good news is, is that we want to put a pond up at the house, so even if this doesn't work, we're gonna use it eventually, but I think it will work to figure out how to use it. Open up thing. Don't wanna capture the muck. That's not our objective here. Don't, we wanna move the muck. Okay, whatever, we'll figure it out. Sometimes they just write bad instructions. It's like an inlet over here somewhere. Where'd it go? Where does it go? Is it a reverse type of thing? No, it's down there at the bottom. There it is. That goes there, all right, inlet. I don't like this one to start with. Is that going to work? A little bit more. Give me more. You know what? I'm having a cool white one up in there so you can see what's coming out. That's a good idea. I think what we want to do is something. Ooh. It may not work the way I wanted it to. It's not supposed to do this. Mm hmm. I really need to raise it up, get it higher. I have an idea. We got our cocoa core bin here. That's just got to be higher than the bed. Got lots of hose there. All right, I like that I can move it around pretty easy. Now, I want that to go down in here. See what we can do here. Getting all sorts of crazy. All sorts of crazy. Extension cord on the other side here. All right, let's see what we can do here. We need to be able to see. All right, we got suction. Not a lot of suction though. Not enough suction. Well, that's not doing the damn job. That's not doing nothing. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, what is going? Well, what in the world? Yeah. I'd say it sucks, but it ain't, it ain't sucking. I think it might be too high. That's a lot of water to lift. Oh, now it's just full. So now I have to lift it up. Oh, that's heavy. Whoa. Oh, we got fish poop all over the place. So that's going to be, huh. So, Here's the problem is that you need it up high enough so that the gravity drain engages. But if you put it up that high, then it, it's too far for it to suck. I calculated it was six feet from the bottom there and it said it has enough head to do that. It really doesn't act that way, does it? You have one more option, but I'm not excited about it. And when it was down there, when I lowered it down, it did just fine. But then you have that transition that you have to deal with. It's a real bugger boo. Lift it up. There's probably a spot in here somewhere where I could get it. What I could do, I could put the bag in, and capture, capture the manure this way, and just pump the water back in. Not really what we're going for. That's not what we wanted to do. It's not what we were going for. 
at all. I mean, what kind of... I'm not sure I like this thing. So what are my other options? Well, I have the actual pool pumps, 12 amps a pop. This thing's got lots of amperage, 10 amps. So if I were to get that pool pump, it has enough head to lift that up that far. I'm gonna go think about this. going around this time this is the idea I was thinking of originally but I decided that man you know what you should probably just buy buy the thing that already exists and use it instead of making my own but as you just saw that idea ended up sucking or not sucking I should say it ended up not working so we're gonna try this, one of the old pool pumps. Had it just built an extension cord for it out of an old burned out one that I had. We're gonna see what we can do. It's gonna work. So the challenge with this one is that it's gotta, gotta get itself started. And once it does that, it should be off to the races. Solid thing would be nice. Get that on. Turn that off first. Man, it is warm. Did I just lose it? Alright. Everything's just you know, this is all rigged. All right, whatever. All we need is just a test. So the prime is gonna be the big challenge on this, just getting it to prime, which I can do probably easier if I dump some water in there. Gasket on it too, huh? Water in there to get it. More water. It is a self-priming pump, but hasn't ran in a while. Ugh. I don't know what try this is, but it's gonna be a charm. Oh, I see water moving, that's good. Bubbles are right there. So my original strategy for this was to use the pool pump with an automatic pump clean or a pool cleaner, one of the uh, creepy crawly things. Uh, but because this pump took so many amps, we actually removed it from the system and just put in a basic pond pump in order to do the aquaponics. This was overkill uh, for what we needed to be able to do just for aquaponics. For this, you need to have the big pump. It's slowly working its way up. Slowly there. One inch at a time. It's right here. Oh, there, it made it around the corner. It's right here now. The big problem is going to be this guy. I think it's going to be a fire hose. We might have to put a uh, valve on it to create some back pressure. Or I have a big something or another. I don't know. We'll find out. Switch here. Just thinking about it. Thinking hard. Looks like I lost. Lost it somehow. Well, when I pulled it out, duh, that's a stupid, stupid thing to say. Of course you lost a section when you pulled it out. You got Nimrod. Too deep, too far. Sounds like a good submarine movie. Too deep, too far. Just doesn't like having that long tube on there. Coming back up the tube again. This might end up being a disaster. I think this is where, this is uh, definitely going to say that we have to have an airlift pump. Because waiting for prime on a pump is just a waste of time and lots of electricity. All right, water is up to here again, it looks like. Some air bubbles in it, and heavier now. So this will have to have a hook on it. We're gonna do this. 